We service piston engines for the general aviation market. Every so many hours, these engines have to be repaired or overhauled. We have the capabilities of tearing these engines and putting them back together and testing them before they go back to our customers. We currently do between 175 to 200 engines a year, which puts us at one of the leading aircraft repair engine facility in, in Canada. Um, and we're, we're hoping to continue to grow. We've been involved in various export development programs that have allowed us to look at our own business, think about how we can grow and expand the business, come up with a business plan, a go-to-market strategy, identify the perfect customers, and um, go into market and, and generate new business. In 2017, we were engaged with the Scale Up Hub program down in Boston, Cambridge. We looked at our go-to-market strategy, uh, what a perfect customer looked like, what the objections we would uh, have to overcome being a Canadian business going into the US. We were challenged with the fact that not many people had heard about Aerotech engines. We found that sharing our story, where we were go going and what we were doing, um, allowed people to, to come on board. They, they heard our story and were more focused on our value proposition and not necessarily purchasing, purchasing something from somebody around the corner. Aerotech started to do business internationally, China, Egypt, and we targeted key accounts in the UK or the rest of Europe for us to, to grow our business. 2017, uh, Aerotech Engines had 15 employees. We've grown to 30 employees. Revenues ranging at the time in 2017 to two and a half million. Today, six million a, a year. Over the past 25 years, Aerotech was only able to grow to a, to a certain size. They were able to take us to the, to the next level. And at that point, we didn't even know how to get there, what that would look like, but they had the expertise and the programs to, to help us go, go through that path. I thoroughly encourage all companies in Nova Scotia to check out the programs and become actively involved. They can help your workforce grow in terms of skills. They have access to funding, export development programs. So it's just stepping back and reaching out and asking, asking for help.